Hi, I'm Ens Peter, and welcome to this little tutorial about the Whorehouse Blues. So, um, <laughs> don't get too much disturbed by the title of the song. Actually, it's a song by Motorhead. I didn't know that Motorhead plays blues, but it's a really cool one. And here we're going to check out what the, the rhythm guitar basically is doing. I mean, uh, more or less, there's a lot of more variations inside. And how we can solo with an acoustic steel string guitar to this kind of blues, which is a little bit different. We work a lot with runs. And that's the main point here on the acoustic blues solo thing. So check it out now. Now let's see what the rhythm guitar is doing in this whorehouse blues. Actually, it's very, very cool. I mean, it's nothing uh, really difficult to play, but it's very cool, I mean. <laughs> so it works like this. We work... Um, So that's more or less the whole thing. I shorted, I made a shortcut a little bit because it's not really essential that you really check, check out the whole thing. And um, we have three, um, it's a basically a blues in A. And we have three parts, of course, three little patterns. For A, we have this pattern. We start with open string A, uh, D, and G string. And we have this movement. And then we ended up with this with the pink here f five to six. See, that's the whole thing. It's not too hard to play, but sounds very cool. And with the right hand, we use, of course, damping technique. really cool stuff. Now the part of the D is very common actually. This this one here. We have the we play D string and index in the second of the G, G string. And then we have this movement here. And that's it. And the E part is like this. Open E string and that's the whole rhythm guitar. So now let's check out the soloing. When we play solo on an acoustic string, acoustic steel string guitar, I cannot speak guitar. It works a little bit different than electric because we have to do a lot of more picking work. We have alternate picking, and in this case, in 16 runs, that means four notes per beat. So, daga, 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 da. So, daga, 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 that's the speed. Well, that's your speed. So, first to get into the this, you have to practice 16 notes. You can practice normal pentatonic in 16, so one, two, three. Always have this, this four, these four notes per beat thing inside you. One, two, three, four, 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 one. So this works. And this is the speed which we want. <laughs> then you try with a track. See how cool this works. But you have to have the speed, your speed together. What also works pretty well and even better is when you work with blue note. Blue note is here. And here. See, very cool stuff. 
a good point when you work with blue note suddenly your 16 run matches exactly between the octaves so see one two three four one two three four one two three four and oops we're back on the root note of the two octaves and it's really perfect <laughs> And that's really even better to get speed. Exactly. And that's really the main thing, or you can even go in another position, like here, and work with the blue note. use this as a repeating pattern also cool Of course, at the end you mix the whole thing up with pentatonics and actually when you work with these runs the phrasing is the most important thing to do. Really check out the phrasing, work on that you really have a relaxed picking technique that you get the speed with the 16th runs and then you're free to play and then this stuff is really cool to play. You can start slow. Then you get into runs. And so on. See, I basically just played normal pentatonics with um, blue note, these blue note runs which I showed you. Well, this was my little uh, lesson or tutorial here about playing this Hurrah blues, or in other words, an acoustic blues instrumental, which is very cool to play. And the rhythm guitar is pretty easy. And the soloing is very cool. And you, can, if you're not so fast now, see this as a challenge that you work on a picking technique that you get the speed that you can really play relaxed. 16 notes in this speed, and then you will see how much fun it is to play over this song. So good luck.